Okay, let's take a few moments and find out what it's like being a subscriber to OpenSci. You type in your password. You can see you're brought to the members area. Let's go ahead and click on our web-based survey package. It brings you directly to your surveys. Let's take a look at what a, one of these surveys look like. This is a survey I did for a class of mine uh, about a quarter ago. You can see that you've got space for ID. Uh, the survey itself gives you an understanding as to how far you've completed in the survey. You can make questions mandatory, uh, you can make them branching, you can save your responses if you'd like participants to be able to come back to this later. And of course, the program gives you an opportunity to download the responses into Excel or into SPSS or a host of other database programs. Let's take a look at what the responses actually look like. You can see that you've got the normal kind of spreadsheet approach. Very convenient, very handy for doing a very quick and thorough survey research. You can take a look at the statistical packages that we offer. Quite thorough range of open source opportunities, including more links that you might want to take a look at. Pop back into the members area, and we can take a look at WikiIndex. Great resource for creating online papers that you can collaborate with. You can access these from whatever computer you'd like to. And more importantly, it's a great place to create resources, specifically references that can be auto-formatted into MLA, APA, uh, Chicago format to make sure that you can submit your papers to a great journal. Here's the project management tool. You can download straight to your computer. And then we've got some research references for you. Uh, so if you need help, you've got a, a wide array of research resources. If you need more help than that, we have a cadre of statisticians, psychologists, and research methodologists who can help you at any point to make sure you're as successful as you can possibly be using OpenSci.